I am Marco Martinez Venturi, Astronauts Relations Manager of Space Expedition Corporation. Here we are at the World Luxury Expo Doha at the St. Regis Hotel. I am, you're quite a new company that I personally don't know much about and I'm sure many of our viewers don't and it's quite an exciting concept. Can you just talk us through what it is that you're here to offer? Of course. Space Expedition Corporation was founded in 2008. The first uh, three years were in order to assemble the company, the team, and as from 2011 we started commercializing trips to space. So what we basically do is we offer the possibility to anyone uh, in between 18 to 75 to go to space with us, uh, assuming the fact that they are physically uh, fit for it. And how, how long are they in space? You know, what's, what does the journey itself entail? The journey in itself will take from takeoff to landing one hour. So basically t four minutes to get into space, you will have a, a transition period of uh, four to six minutes of uh, full weightlessness, uh, reaching an apogee of 103 kilometers, which is above the Karman line, international line of space. And uh, you will have then a, a redescent phase uh, towards Earth with a vertical inclination. And uh, somewhere around 40 kilometers, we will do a pullout maneuver uh, in order to decrease the speed and re put the, the, the spacecraft in a, in a horizontal position. And then you will have more or less 40 minutes uh, of gliding uh, back to Earth. And from where, where do these missions depart? Uh, at the moment we will be flying from uh, Curaçao in the, in the Caribbean and uh, from the desert of Mojave in California. And have many people signed up to date? And if so, you know, what is the cost for our viewers listening that might want to sign up as well? Definitely. Uh, at the moment we have signed 260 clients and uh, one ticket costs 100,000 uh, US dollars. And the first mission? The first mission is planned uh, in quarter 4, 2014, therefore next year. We are uh, in the final stages of uh, the assembly of the Link spacecraft, uh, which is built by our partner Excor in, in the desert of Mojave. And uh, we are um, having uh, the so-called rollout uh, by the end of quarter 1 next year. Uh, and from that moment on we will start test flight uh, phase, which will last somewhere around 6 months, we assume and uh, therefore by the end of the year we should be ready to fly our first passengers out to space. Uh, space celebrity Buzz Aldrin is a board member. What impact does having him involved in this project have? Well obviously Buzz Aldrin is the second man on, uh, to walk on the moon so tremendous ambassador for us. Uh, Buzz uh, since, since his early days has always been uh, um, willing to make space accessible to everyone, uh, wanted to share what he's experienced with other people uh, and this is a little bit what we are emulating, that this is what we want, we want to make space accessible for everyone. So the match was there, it's just that we had to meet first in order to, to make it happen. And then lastly, in your opinion, is this the future of travel? Absolutely, absolutely. Now uh, we will do A, A to A flights, but uh, obviously the intent is not to stop there, to use hubs and uh, hopefully in 10-15 years we could fly from A to B, namely Doha to uh, Sydney in an hour and a half. Whenever there's no more air resistance and you have speed, you just need to maintain it and uh, it could take an hour and a half then to do half an orbit uh, flight. It all sounds very exciting and we look forward to witnessing the first mission next year. Thank you for talking to Breaking Travel News. Thank you, my pleasure.